applications of thermal expansion and contraction of solids. It is a matter of common experience that a solid expands on heating and contracts on cooling. Expansion or contraction could be in length, area or volume. We use instruments made of different kinds of solids in our daily life. Solids expand during the hot summer months and contract during the cold winter months. Expansions and contractions of solids are sometimes useful while at times they pose many technical or engineering problems. The thermal forces involved during free expansion of solids when heated and free contraction on cooling are used to fix an iron rim on a cartwheel, to remove a tight metal cap of a glass jar in bimetallic thermostats. Click on the links provided. In bullock carts, iron rings are fitted on to the wooden wheels. The radius of the iron ring is taken slightly less than that of the wooden wheel. The iron ring is heated. On heating, it expands and its radius increases, enabling it to fit onto the wooden wheel. Later on, the iron ring cools and shrinks to its original size, clamping itself firmly to the wooden wheel as shown here. A metallic cap stuck on a glass bottle can be removed by pouring hot water over the cap. When hot water is poured over the cap, it expands due to a rise in its temperature and can be removed easily. Thermo switches or thermostats used in automatic switching on and off of the electric supply to any appliance use bimetallic strip. A bimetallic strip is made by revetting two metal strips, usually one of brass and the other of iron at their ends. On heating, brass expands more than iron, hence the strip bends with brass on the outer side. These bimetallic thermo switches are used in appliances such as automatic fire alarm systems, electric irons, ovens, etc. The use of a bimetallic switch in an electric iron and in an automatic fire alarm is shown here. To overcome the technical problems caused due to thermal expansion or contraction, gaps are left when railway lines are laid. In industries where hot fluids flow in pipes, loops are provided to avoid bending of pipes. When telephone or electric wires are laid during summer, a small sag is left to allow for contraction during winter. Click on links provided to know more. A long railway track consists of many sections of steel called rails joined to each other. While laying a railway line, a small gap is left in between two rails at their joint to allow for the expansion during summers. If such a gap is not left at the joints of rails, the track will get deformed due to thermal expansion in summer which may cause derailment of trains. Another method of allowing for the expansion of rails 
is to use a wet joint between the rails as shown here. When the temperature rises during the summers, the rails expand and their ends slide past each other. In industries where hot fluids flow in pipes, loops are provided to avoid bending of pipes. Loops are provided in the metal pipeline in order to absorb the effects of expansion or contraction of the pipeline due to changes in temperature. If the telephone or electric wires are laid during summer, a small sag is left to allow for contraction during winter. If the wires were laid straight and tight during summer, then in winter the wire would contract. This contraction will produce a severe strain in the wires and may break them.